We also have an update on the teenager from Wabasha who was hospitalized after getting stuck in a sand hole in rural Kellogg. The Wabasha County Sheriff's Office tells us the 14-year-old remains in critical condition tonight. The Sheriff's Office responded to a call on Tuesday evening that the 14-year-old was stuck in a sand hole and covered in sand. Deputies tried life-saving measures on the teen and took him to St. Mary's. Well, an overnight train derailment in Minnesota is just the latest now in a slew of recent incidents, adding to the growing concerns over the safety of the nation's railroads. In February, a massive train derailment in Ohio leaking toxic chemicals into the community of East Palestine. Another derailment only a few days ago in rural North Dakota that spilled hazardous materials, and now today in Raymond, Minnesota. We do have a reporter live on the scene tonight, but first, the derailment has some Rochester residents talking about the DMNE railroad plans that failed back in 2012. And our Darian Lady has been looking back at the project area and how would have this uh, plan changed the city of Rochester? Yeah, Tom and Caitlin, the plan would have increased the number of trains traveling through downtown Rochester to more than 30 a day. Many community leaders and residents were concerned about the potential change, including officials from Mayo Clinic and the city of Rochester. They argued the increased rail traffic would threaten safety for drivers and pedestrians downtown. In 2007, railroad company Canadian Pacific bought dm &E and years later in 2012 decided to officially drop the Rochester expansion. After the recent uptick in major derailments, some longtime Rochester residents say they're relieved the expansion fell through back then. I spoke to a former member of Mayo Clinic Public Affairs who rallied against the project for many years. Railroads, although they are typically safe, things do happen. And if those things would happen in a city like Rochester, particularly as a um, major medical center, we wouldn't be able to do the evacuations that are being done in these other areas where these accidents are happening. Canadian Pacific still owns and operates the downtown Rochester rail system today. We reached out to them for a statement on the Raymond derailment and officials said in part operating safely is foundational to everything Canadian Pacific does. Along with our entire network, Canadian Pacific collaborates with our customers, suppliers, contractors, government agencies and first responders to prepare for any incidents. Reporting live in the studio, Darian Letty, KTTC News.